tensions continue to prevail in Jammu and Kashmir amid the recent encounter and killing of four army men in Poonch. Now, Indian Army Chief General Manoj Pandey will be visiting Jammu today to conduct a review of the counter-terror efforts. On his visit, General Pandey is likely to receive comprehensive briefings about the ongoing counter-terrorist operations in Poonch and Rajori and the casualties that have been suffered in the recent terror attacks. The recent attack, in fact, has prompted the Army headquarters to intensify its scrutiny of the situation. Pradeep uh, joins us on the phone line to get us more information on this. Uh, Pradeep, uh, give us a sense of uh, what will be the briefings that the Indian Army chief will be given. Of course, given the fact that there have been a rising number of cases of disturbance in the valley. Yes, you are absolutely right. We have seen that the theater of terror has now shifted from the plains of Kashmir Valley towards the mountains of Poonch and Rajori, especially in areas on south of Pir Panjan. And we have seen that in the last two days there have been several incidents. On October 21st, one of uh, the army, that uh, two vehicles were targeted by terrorists, in which four of them were martyred and uh, three others were critically injured. And today, General Manoj Pandey, Chief of Army Staff, he will be uh, visiting Jammu region. First, initially, he'll be going to Nathan Command headquarters where then he'll be briefed up, uh, comprehensively about the security scenario. Then he'll be going to Teraki Gali area also, spot uh, where the incident took place on October 21st. And there also he will be interacting with the soldier. One, he'll be right. trying to boost their morale also and also look into the counter-terror measures being taken by uh, the soldiers there on the ground and how they are going to curtail the terror activities. Because right, Pradeep, I'll have to interject you there. We're running short of time, but uh, appreciate you joining us on the broadcast. And of course, we'll, our focus will continue to be on the situation in uh, Jammu and Kashmir.